Hey guys, Alyssa Pettit coming at you from Bluebird Parkway. In this video, you'll see how we address the issues that I spoke about in the last video with the floor. After that, we went ahead and repainted the floor and then we plugged up the holes where we removed the bolts for the seats. We did this using metal rivets and a little bit of caulk and I also went ahead and sanded and painted the bumpers as well as the metal light covers that go on the front and the back of the bus. And then the last thing we did was test out some pieces of sheet metal that we had fabricated to replace some of the windows that we were removing from the bus as you can see behind me. In this time lapse video, the first thing that I'm doing is putting a second coat of paint on that bottom panel that runs along both sides of the bus. When I was about halfway done with that, one of my best friends, Elise, showed up and she helped me finish that out. Elise was pretty excited to help out with painting the floor, so I let her do her thing and I just kind of sat back, hung out, chilled, and caught up with her. Alright, so we're uh, plugging up some holes here from the seats, and I'm taking some heavy duty construction adhesive, and I'm putting it around the hole, not a lot, just a little less is more, anything that comes out of the pop gun. And I got a riveter here, and I'll pop a rivet in there. That one fought me a little bit. Riveted guns are like that. But let's see if this one is nice and smooth. Yeah. And the plug, the hole is plugged. And we're gonna wipe the excess off right there and there she is. on these floors because again I'm trying not to dwell on the nightmare that is these floors so um, I had the same problem happen again you can see all these like little gray spots when I painted it white before all of the gray spots shown up through it and it's like the paint there is just not even cured you can just scratch it right off so that's why I re-sanded the floors before, which is why I was a little salty about it and didn't want to talk about it. Um, but now, a little beyond salty, just kind of defeated, I felt like earlier this morning. I got these same gray spots after I painted the floor again. Um, this time in this gray color because we just mixed all the leftover paints together. Whatever, doesn't matter. Um, but I did figure out a solution. <laughs> So if anybody else has this problem using core seal on the rust and then putting rust on top of it, this is how you solve it without killing yourself. If you just wipe these gray spots here down with paint thinner, like this, they come right up and then you can just paint another coat on top and you don't have to re-sand it and do all that nonsense that I did. Also, it's hot out here as usual. I'm really tired of working and bending over and using my arms all the time, so I discovered feet work pretty well too. You don't feel like bending over. Anyway, that's that. Gonna put another coat of paint on. Finally be done, can't wait. So it's been raining the past couple of days and we're just at the point where we need to get those windows back in and that sheet metal that I just bought put into the windows that are gonna be replaced so that we can seal it all up, finally finish waterproofing the bus, then we can start building. 
but I obviously can't caulk the windows and glue them into place while it's raining. So today I'm in the garage and I'm doing some more random painting that I really don't want to be doing right now because just kind of like little touches that don't really, aren't necessities to get done right now. Not our number one priority. So this is what I have going on. I've been sanding these four things, they're done, and now I started sanding the bumper a little bit, but I wanted to catch it before so you could see what it looked like before. Um, it had a little dent. We tried to straighten it. The truck wasn't heavy enough, so it is what it is. So I'm just gonna sand it and then wipe it down with some of that denatured alcohol over there. And that other container is not actually paint thinner. It is the gray that we put on the outside of the bus. Um, these are going to get painted gray. And the bumper will remain black. Which I am painting with this Rust-Oleum automotive enamel. So I'm going to get back to work on this super cloudy raining on and off all week kind of day. So I just finished sanding and this is what it looks like. I didn't want to take off the factory paint and primer because it's probably better than anything that I'm going to spray out of a can. Um, but where there were some scrapes and dings and stuff, I did sand a little bit more to try to even out the surface at least. So that's where you see some of the metal showing. But for the most part, it's in good condition, and I'm not even going to sand the back of it because it's not rusting, and if it's lasted 20-some years, then it's probably good to go. Well, I got one coat of gray on these covers that go over the lights, and I just put the second coat of black on the bumper. Probably going to do one or two more for the bumper um, so three or four total and probably one or two more on the gray so two or three total unfortunately though that gray is the oil-based paint so probably won't be able to put a second coat on until tomorrow but we'll see, maybe tonight. Also, the rain stopped. It's kind of how it's been all week. It rains, it stops. It rains, it stops. Just when you think you're gonna be able to go outside and do something, you get all ready, you go outside, it's raining again. So, been trying to find things to do like this that are not in the rain. Yesterday, figured out what washer we were gonna get. So I mentioned earlier that I had some sheet metal made to fill in the window spaces where we are removing windows in the bus. So this is the shop in Frederick that I got the sheet metal made at. So we just picked up these pieces of sheet metal that we had fabricated that we're going to try to fit into these windows now. The windows that we're going to replace and we don't need. They look really nice. Um, we had the guys down at TP Durkin in Frederick, Maryland make them for us. They made us a couple samples before for us to test out. So we've tested out one. Well, we had three that, that we tried. Two didn't work. So we got one that did work. So fingers crossed that the measurements are correct. Always blame the measurer. And hopefully we'll be able to get this bus fully waterproofed soon very very soon <laughs> Yeah.
And as always, thanks for keeping up with Bluebird Parkway. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.